Hey guys, Q here, and welcome to Plants vs. Zombies. Yes, I am really doing this, so let's just go ahead and get started. The uh, This first episode is probably just going to be mostly, you know, tutorial-based stuff. Pop Camp Games presents Plants vs. Zombies. Oh my goodness, it looks so epic. Oh, that's a sight to see. Um, so yeah, this is uh, Plants vs. Zombies, and I'm really doing this. So, as I said before, the uh, first few levels are just going to be more or less tutorial-wise. Um, I'm going to skip through all the text. I, I guess I can explain in a nutshell how this game works. Um, you collect sun, which is your currency, to buy plants to defend off from zombies. Uh, it takes a while for plants to recharge, so if you have a lot of sun, you can't just like spam. Uh, that's, a print. Uh, that's, that's about it. Right now, we only have one row, but... Uh, we will be getting all the other rows. There, there's a lot. There's about there's like five um, rows. I believe we do get into six rows like really later on in the game, but that's not for a while. And uh, I never really explained these. These guys are pea shooters. Uh, they do one damage. These are regular zombies. Have ten damage. And um, <clears throat> something cool that um, they they did is uh, well, I'll, I'll explain that in a second, but um. Here are the levels over. That was that was a joke of a level, but it's the first one. What you're gonna do? So this is a sunflower. Gives you additional sun. These you're, you're gonna want to be using these. Like if you're playing through this game. Oh, look at that sewage. What is that? <laughs> All right, we got three rows. So um, uh, we're gonna be getting a tutorial for the sunflower. So I might as well explain it here. Um, yeah, sunflowers are extremely important. And what I usually like to do is I usually like to have two full rows. Like, the first two rows closest to your, my house, I usually like to, uh, have filled with, filled with sunflowers so that I can, uh, you know, be safe if I, so I can have, like, extra sun just in case that, you know, for emergencies. Now, uh, this is, this is kind of boring, to be honest. I mean, this game, <clears throat> to be honest, is, like, more exciting to play than it is to watch. It's just one of those games. I mean, it is kind of fun to watch still, but, you know, what you gonna do? So, as I was saying before, before uh, the level ended, you see how his arm popped off? Uh, these regular zombies have 10 hits of health, so once they get hit 10 times, you know, they're gone. Come on, give me one more sun. There we go. Um, so yeah, they have 10 hits of health, and uh, once they're half dead, uh, it indicates that by like their arms falling off. They're, I'll be showing that in uh, later later zombies, because you know there are more than just one type of zombies. But whenever they do get damaged, there are some like sort of indication as to you know how damaged they are. Now you see there when the uh, the zombies like get their heads like popped off, they can't actually eat and destroy your plants when they're like that. But the thing is. Um, they can still, like, as you can see, you see his head's off, but we're still hitting him. So, say there's, like, three zombies in line, that that's kind of annoying how they're, like, he's kind of blocking us from getting the zombies behind them, even if they can't do any damage to us. Now, basically, it's kind of obvious, but the concept of this game is to stop the zombies from getting to your house. Um, <clears throat> it takes, like, only a few seconds for them to eat plants. Like, I think it takes, like, five to ten, more like five seconds, something like that. And, uh, in the bottom right, you can see our progression through the levels. Uh, the little flags basically mean that there's, like, a huge wave of zombies coming. Uh, as you can see, there's only one since, you know, this is the only the second level. There are... Uh, five uh, like levels per world. So this is World One Two, so, sort of like Mario. But anyways, we have the Cherry Bomb. It's kind of like the TNT of this game. There are greater versions of TNT as we get later on. Yeah, it blows up all zombies in an area. But you know, this is uh, this is a good starting emergency item. They do regenerate very slow though, so <clears throat> you don't want to be wasting them. So let's go ahead and get our sunflowers out. Um, so as I was saying for level 3, you can see here that the round hasn't actually started. They do give us some leeway time to, you know, get our stuff set up. It wouldn't really be fair if we didn't have any sun or anything out and the zombies just started coming. I mean, it does get more difficult in the later, you know, parts, but, eh, you know, what you gonna do, you know? You, as you get later, you get more experienced, you know, you get more plants. We do get, like, a new plant or just item in general at the, at the end of every single level, so, you know, that's good. As I said, there's a, 
I, I'm not sure if I said there's only five. There's uh, there's ten levels in each world. There's five worlds in total. I think it's five worlds. I've only ever played through this game once. I can't really. It's been a while too. I can't really remember. It's, I played it through on my iPod, so I like I haven't really played it on the PC. So I'm used to having like the this thing like on the side here. So I don't know. But um, anyways, so I guess I'll get back to talking about um what I was saying before. So pretty much you have to stop the zombies from uh hitting like getting to uh, your house. Now these lawnmowers they kind of act like a final act of defense like once say that a zombie gets to here you know destroys all of your plants pretty much what happens is a lawnmower comes runs over the whole uh, layer and basically kills any uh any zombies that are on that row i don't say layer i meant row uh but i'll get back to that in a second but i want to talk about these cone zombies these are the second type of zombies uh, they have 30 health, 20 health with the cone, and then when you knock them off, just wait a second, knock it off, and then they have 10 health, and they turn to just normal zombies. Uh, you should be good killing them as long as you have at least, like, two pea shooters hit getting them, like, the second that they go on screen. Now, how these guys work is, you see, um, <clears throat> when they get hit 10 times, then their cone kind of, like, gets you know a little bit bumped up and then it and then it gets bumped up more and then it falls off now that's kind of like I think it's kind of cool so you know like how they are and here we have a pretty good defense system I mean we have three things of pea shooters we have two things of sunflowers we got quite a decent you know defense I guess I'll save it for the cherry bomb so I can show it off Let's see here all right, let's do it. Wait for them to come on screen more. Right there, and we win. And just for reference, for whatever reason, yes, you can like plant crap after, but there's not really any point. <coughs> so here's the walnut. A funky guy. Costs 50 sun, blocks off zombies, and protects your plants. So basically, this guy is a defense uh, plant. He can't actually hurt the zombies, but like you place him down. Ooh, we got five rows. This is going to get a bit more interesting. So, yeah, um, basically what he does is you place them. I usually like to place them within, like, the first four rows of over here. So I still have room to, you know, place my sunflowers and then three rows for any offense. But, <clears throat> anyways, as I was saying, you place them down here. And it takes, like, I, I can't, I don't know how long it takes. It takes a really long time. I'll place them right there just... That was probably a bad move considering that I need more sun, but it, it stops the zombie for a bit. It lets me get enough to get enough for a uh, pea shooter, but wait for it. Uh, whenever we go to a new level, I will be trying to uh, show off the new item or plant that we get. There we go. He should be good. See, it does take a good while. He's not even, like, hurt yet, so <clears throat> you can see um, how much long of it. Wow, it, two zombies there. He's getting hurt a little bit. Let's. I may put another pea shooter on that. Oh yeah, there we go. Just to uh, you know, keep the walnut from uh, getting eaten too quickly. But we need to save up for some more pea shooters. Yeah, one in this row. Come on, give me one more. And we have good for that row. Really, you only really need like one row of sunflowers, and maybe like one row, and then two more. Like you don't. It's not necessary to have two full rows. I just like to do that. Uh, oh, well, I guess that's the first thing. I was like, oh, I should have placed up here. I didn't see the zombie down there, though. Um, let's see here. What else? I guess I'll get back to talking about the lawnmower. So once they go across the whole row, uh, they don't, they don't come back. So, like, say there's two zombies. Say, no, say, like, one zombie spawns, and then, you know, the whole layer is gone, or the whole row is gone. <clears throat> uh, what happens is, oh, God, we might be, I'm going to place that there. Because if we placed a pea shooter down right now, we would not have enough time to get rid of them. So let's place one down there. And hopefully we can get another pea shooter soon. I mean, like, this single pea shooter in this wallet should be able to take care of them. But I don't, I want, like, you know, I don't want the wallet to be eaten. Let's put them right there. And now we can focus on getting more sun. Oh, God, we need, no, we can't because we have another guy right there. Uh, one more. Come on. There we go. 
Alright, oh yeah, he actually got a good bit out of him. <coughs> so, as I was saying, yeah, once the lawnmower is gone, it doesn't respawn. So you want to, you know, try and keep that at all costs. Then once once another zombie gets there and the lawnmower is not there, it's pretty much a game over from there. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. That's the end game. And then you have to restart the whole level. Now, there, there are a bunch of different types of levels. I mean, right now we're just doing basic daytime levels. Then there's night levels where sun does. Well, yeah. I don't want to spoil too much. I guess I'll just say what they are. Uh, I already spoiled the night levels. Sorry about that. There's uh, night levels, pool levels, fog levels. There's eventually like gravestones. There is a bunch of shit and whatnot. But, you know, it's this game does a really good job in uh, pretty much, you know, just mixing it up a bit so it's not the same thing every single, you know, level. Alright, we got quite a good amount here. Try and save up for a cherry bomb to get this last wave over with. Alright, there we go. Let's wait for more of them to spawn in. Alright, uh, as we can put another pea shirt in there. Alright, let's just put these guys since there's three cones. And there we go, that's pretty much it for this. And wait for him to die, maybe I'll get rid of him a little faster. Yeah, there we go, and we get the shovel. Now, um, notice how before I said we get items every time. We don't necessarily get a new plant. Let's you dig up a plant to make room for another plant. So basically, this is the lead option. And here we get introduced to a character. Greetings, neighbor. Bobby Bobble. The name's Crazy Dave. You can just call me Crazy Dave. Oh, okay. These guy, this guy talks like, you know, the Sims. Like, in this university, they have, like, their own language that's, like, gibberish. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. But first, I'll need you to clear your lawn. Use a shovel and dig up those plants. Look at the digging commence. Alright. Basically, this is just the delete tool. You do not get sun back when you delete plants. So that's kind of a bummer, but... <coughs> okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We are bowling. Here, take this walnut. Why to put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. You might want to get that twitching eye checked out, man. I mean, look at this guy... This guy's really not fit, you know, he's, he got terrible teeth, he looks like freaking Griffin Lobster. Uh, look at one eye, it's like off-center here, but that, that trick that he did when he like, like flipped the pot on his head, that was, a, that was pretty cool. Anyways, so, <clears throat> this is actually kind of perfect timing, as I was talking about before, this game does a good job in mixing it up and making it so that it's not the, just the same repetitive uh, just, you know, thing, every single level, every fifth and tenth, uh, level of each world, there is, like, sort of a mini game. now, this mini game's pretty easy since it's the first one, but, what I usually like to do is save up my walnuts until there's more guys on screen, so that, you know, cause it can, the walnuts can ricochet, well, I guess, I guess I should get rid of these, these are, uh, explodal nuts, they're pretty much like cherry bombs, so I'll just save it. Let's wait for more zombies. <coughs> See here, I get one guy, whether as if I just got that other zombie as soon as he spawned in, I wouldn't have. Uh, let's get rid of this guy, and then wait a bit. Yeah, I guess no one else is spawning in. Oh, so now they do. Let's put that there, and then that there. Oh, I went in the wrong direction. I'm going to get rid of these guys since there's like three of these cones. There we go. Alright. Not sure what this is for, actually. That's, that's just kind of there just because. Can you like get rid of something mid? No, you can't. I was like, why is that shovel there? Let's see here. Get rid of this guy. And um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, at the end of this level, I'm going to end off the... Uh, the video because I don't want it to be too long. So I don't think people could really sit through like a 20 minute video of just plants versus zombies. So I'll kind of. I got like a little pop up off screen. <sighs> okay, this guy looks like it's gonna be a bit of a problem. <clears throat> I actually recorded this like two other times because I was having a problem where uh, the fraps like video no like the audio for frats was like like my commentary was fine but the video was like and this guy this guy's gonna be a problem here I mean they can go over the red line it's just that we can't place anything over the red line 
So, let's see here. I totally lost my train of thought is what I was talking about before. Oh, right, yeah. I, I recorded this, like, three... Uh, four, this is my fifth time recording this. I recorded the other ones yesterday, and then I was like, you know what? I give up for the day. But, um, yeah, what happened was, like, the... Oh, get that guy out of the way. Uh, what happened when I was recording this from before, I actually got, like, five or six explode oh nut guys. So, you know, I and then, like, before, I only got one, so I'm like, what? But, anyways, this is a potato mine. Explodes on contact, but takes time to arm itself. I'll be uh, getting into those guys more uh, next episode, and those guys, those good guys, they, they are annoying. But, reset plant! No. We're going to be going back to the main menu. And uh, something I kind of want to show off, there actually are achievements. We haven't really gone any. We should be getting one uh, at the beginning of the next level because, yeah, right there. Blow up a zombie using potato mine. There actually was one. So uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. And uh, leave some feedback. Tell me if you guys like this series, if I should continue it or not. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Come check out my channel if you enjoyed this, blah, 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 self-promotion. Come hit subscribe, all that good stuff that people always say at the end of their videos, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.